My name is Jeff Lungu. I am an artist, one of the old artists, oldest surviving artist. And uh, as I stand here, I, I would like to explain to you my experience here at the Chena Gallery in Kwashi area. This Chena Gallery has given me so much experience, wonderful experience with, with a fellow artists. We've been collaborating so well with friends like uh, Mr. Chilufia, and we had the uh, Kingsley Kapove, George Mubanga, and we have uh, George Mulenga, we have Julius, and we have um, Esnala, we have uh, Mag. From China Ladies, there's a uh, TJ and JJ. These have been collaborating so well with me. And, and you know, with my fellow artists like uh, Rafael Chirufia and Mulenga, and, uh, and these are fellow painters. I've learned a lot uh, on the way they paint. And, and you know, they've taught me how to, to do my work better off. So the, the paintings that I, I have are lined up um, according to, to the story. It is entitled the Renaissance, which is the beginning of a black man's story. And the, the first painting so far is of a, a man locked up in shackles and chains, which is a crucial thing to, to go about. You know, those, those people who were bought from Africa, taken into slavery, went to, to all over the world. You know, they really suffered that painful um, locking of uh, chains and charcoals. So on the second painting, you see them put in, working on plantations of sugar canes. That are, uh, that, those are men and uh, the women were working on, on, on cotton farms which was uh, really um, a, a, a work to do for slaves, you know. On the third uh, painting, you will view a, a picture of a sympathizer of a slavery, removing the chains from, from the, the slave, you know, like breaking the chains. And you know, it was a sad situation. You, you would even see the tears coming out of a slave, which is uh, something very terrible, you know. And uh, on, the, on the fourth one, there's freedom now. That's when you see somebody um, galloping with a horse, showing uh, uh, like uh, dancing with the horse and skunking, which is so nice. For, for a free man. When he, 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 he was riding the horse, he went with it. On the, on the next one, the fifth one, or on, the, on the fifth one, we noticed uh, the, there's uh, the talks by Pan-Africanists, people like uh, 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 Marcus Mosiah Gave, Martin Luther King, and people like Kwame Nkrumah, Dr. Kaunda of Zambia, and, and uh, all those people like uh, Jomo Kenyatta, ETC, you know, the list is long. They, they are doing the talks for, for the blacks. Uh, and on the fifth one, now uh, the talks are over and the Africans have been given power to, to do the the industrialization and manufacturing. You see somebody doing some manufacturing. So it is so wonderful. That's a sixth one. Uh, when I finished painting the number six painting, uh, Mr. Chilufia was painting the, the other side because the walls are double-sided. So the seventh is on the first side of uh, Mr. Chilufia's works. 
And the story keeps on going. And Mr. Chilufia's painting starts with a brand new day, showing that uh, the, this is a brand new day for for black man to to keep moving. So the movement was uh, from a brand new day. It, it was a bright sunny day, and, and and kept on moving until the liberation of a market on the on the eighth painting. The liberation of market shows people buying and selling to show that this is what black man has been producing and now the produce has been taken to the market and people are buying and selling. From the, the eighth one, you see now where there is equity on, on black man, where, where, on equity on black man. Where, where you find uh, uh, people like uh, Muhammad Ali and, and all those sportsmen uh, doing it to the maximum. Here in Zambia we had uh, people like uh, Muleya, uh, uh, a great uh, athlete. He, he, he really rose to, to, to high ranks until he, he died in the USA. So on, on the on the ninth picture, you will see a city which was newly built to, to show that black man is also able to build cities and we are moving high. After building the cities for, for black man, we, which were, we, we are mm, like nicely built, to show to show development in africa we now we came to to see to see the we we came to see the rainbow on the 11th we see the the rainbow on the rainbow we are depicting that uh, uh, the trouble is over there is no more trouble now that is why you see the rainbow blocking the trouble. When the rainbow blocks the trouble, now on the, on the 12th one you see um, somebody looking to the future. That is now what we are doing as uh, black men, we are looking to the future. We, we, we put aside, we put backwards all, all the troubles and now we are looking to the future which gives us gladness and joy. Hi, my name is Rafael Tulufia, a painter, a participant in the China Air 2 program this year. Uh, I have uh, been invited to work in this program as a painter. And for the first time, I was given a different material, which I don't usually use, which is acrylics. Uh, we have uh, done about six artworks within uh, six weeks. Uh, there was supposed to be 12, but then we shared and we did very, very well teaching one another, teaching each other in this. And uh, thanks to my colleague, Jeff Lungu, where I learned a lot of techniques because he's got experience in that. Uh, my experience in this, I think, has been good. And I think this is a workshop. I think I've attended the best out of all the workshops. In terms of learning, uh, I've learned a lot. Um, this works given to us to do were based on renaissance. If you remember, the world at some point was changing. A renaissance came with the works of art in Italy. Uh, the Vatican was involved and all that. And we termed this as a renaissance as well, um, which is bringing new life to Zambia in terms of art development and support, which I believe China is now championing. Uh, this was based on the development of the past, especially when you look at uh, the world today, we look at the history of America. We are inspired so much about people, you know, by people who tried so much to bring change in the United States, because we believe change must always be there. A situation we have in this country is somehow uh, different. Our country struggles, so we always dream about making change. And to us, making change, is coming as a result of a new 
uh, ideas that people are bringing in. For instance, uh, coming up with a workshop like this one, which is an opportunity for artists in this country. So it's Renaissance. We are inspired by people who did great things like Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, and Muhammad Ali, and many others. Those you can find on the walls, the murals that we've done. And if you have a chance, please visit, uh, uh, visit uh, um, Nkwashi at some point. We have all these works at, at the park, which promise a lot more to come in the future. Art will develop. Hi, my name is Mulenga Muvanga, one of the artists participating in the China Air 2 program. My experience so far has been amazing. I've met new artists, made new friends. I work in a variety of media, charcoal pencils, graphite, acrylics, watercolor, and oils, which also includes mixed media using recycled materials such as magazines and plastics. In my short stay here, I've managed to, to do one painting. The painting depicts the scenery here at Inkwashi with a few hills in a di uh, at a distance and a lake in the foreground. The view is amazing. The scenery here is just the kind of environment that me as an artist needs. It's peaceful, it's quiet, it's awesome. I'm looking forward to making new experiences and learning from my fellow artists. So far I've learned a lot. I've acquired new skills I hadn't, I didn't have before. Looking forward to, to growing and to developing. Hi, my name is Esma Labanda and I was Air 2's photographer and blogger. Um, this was an amazing experience for me. I got a chance to explore different avenues in my photography, especially shooting with natural light. And also it was just such a privilege to be able to see different artists and be able to learn their various stories. Um, one of my favorite things was watching artists like Nukwase paint, just watching her prime the, um, the canvas and all the way from start to finish. It's been a real wonder to watch her work. And um, also it's been very fascinating to watch the sculptors, to watch people like George um, work with metal and just make it look so easy and make metal so malleable. And considering all the work and effort that went in there, um, it's very fascinating to watch. It was a real privilege to be here. And of course, the sites at Kumkwashi have been amazing. The fresh air, the nature has been very inspiring to write. So please be sure to check out the blog and see what else Nkwashi has in store for you. Hi, my name is Nkwase Tembo and I'm an artist. And I was part of the Chenna Gallery Artist in Residency program for 2021. And um, it's been such an amazing experience. I've gotten to make new friends, meet new people, um, tapped into a new kind of inspiration. And I've really enjoyed working on my 10 pieces that I created for the residency program. I usually theme my work most times but this time I just decided to create um, to kind of like freestyle it and um, there's quite a number of uh, diverse uh, con uh, content in my work but somehow anyway everything can actually connect so my time at Tenkwashi has been an amazing one um, the place is really, really beautiful. It's quiet and serene and so much fresh air. So much, so many beautiful sights to see. I feel really in touch with nature here. It's a beautiful place and it's really inspired me to tap into a new kind of creativity. My name's are Kingsley Kapove. Working under 
China and doing the Air 2 program. It has been a wonderful moment. Working with stone and cement, also welding, and being close to nature because the residence is close to nature. Nature has inspired me a lot. Working with other artists, it, is, it has been an inspiration as well, seeing what others are doing. It gives me that confidence and encouragement to do more as I see others work. And the community, it has been so wonderful. And the environment has been so good. So in future, I hope to do more than what I've done. Thank you. Uh, I'm Emmanuel Muntanga, uh, a sculptor. I joined China in February, China 2. It has been a very good experience working here. A very friendly artist. And a lot of materials, experimentations. So far I've worked on two pieces. The, the elephant, I think you could, can see it in the background. And the, the head wrap. The woman with the head wrap. But there are still works in progress. Maybe another two weeks I'll be done with the works. But basically, basically it has been a very, very good experience at China too. We've been supported tremendously with art materials. No shortages. We have experimented. And... Um, we hope to do China 3 better than this one. And, um, maybe learn from the other artists, the young artists, and maybe teach them the, the old skills, they, they teach us the new skills also. Maybe we become more open in China 3. Hi, my name is George Muanga. I'm a mixed media visual artist one of the artists in residence at uh, China. My experience has been good in this residence program. I've learned a lot of things. I've learned how to work with um, metal materials. Creating metal sculptures has been so amazing to me. Um, I've also learned a lot from my friends that I've been in residence with who are specialized in other different forms of art. Um, my most favorite part about this program was working with new materials which I never worked with before, which was metal. I worked with metal, tried to experiment different ways on how it works and it has been so amazing. I've created five sculptures the new birth which represents a new life being born out of hardship the rock represents um, hardship the old rusty flowers represent uh, how many times someone has fallen to actually get to a point to begin a new life i also made uh, the bagman the bagman collected a bag of roses after a long day of hard work and is looking forward to share a lovely time with his wife, the Renaissance woman, who is waiting for him at the waterfront at the park here at Nkwashi. The bagman shares his success uh, and his highs and lows of his day with uh, the Renaissance woman. His the Renaissance woman influences a culture of exploration and discovery everywhere she goes. She looks beyond her present circumstance and uses the things around her to create a better Africa. This piece showcases a woman adorned with copper to emphasize uh, natural resources that can be used to 
develop other sectors in renewable sustainable sectors that can be used in continuity of economic growth. She is married to the Bagman and fully honestly dedicates her time to make his vision come true into reality. The pushers are the symbols of power. They represent mental and physical strength. Um, the piece shows uh, a man who is being a good example, showing a young generation his ways of overcoming challenges in life. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the China team and everyone has made it possible for me to do my work and to experiment. Even I also thank my assistants because they've also contributed a lot in my development as I was trying to research and demonstrate to them what to do. I also learned a lot about me and a lot about my work which I didn't even know about. Um, I'm so thankful to be part of the artists that have contributed in building a new city through art. Hello, my name is Maggie Banda, a photographer under Chennai Air 2. Hello, my name is Julius Mseteka, a videographer under Chennai Air 2. Uh, my favorite part about being in this residence is that I've been able to learn from a lot of people and, you know, just to understand how the whole concept of art works. My favorite part about this residence program has been getting to learn more about art, like getting to be in the art, to understand art better other than the painting and the drawing, getting to the sculpting and many other pieces like photography, videography, uh, music. It's really been a really nice experience. I would like to see more females, you know, participate in art because I feel there should be a sort of balance when it comes to um, art. Yeah. Um, in the future, I'd like to see more forms of art being brought in the residency program, like other than the sculpting, painting, and and photography. Yeah. I'd like to say thank you to everyone who has helped this program run. It's been a very educative program for me personally and I have learned, you know, along the way to discover my talent. I pray and hope that even as time goes on, this program is going to help many more artists in the country and everywhere else. I'd like to thank Shana Art Gallery for the opportunity that they gave me to be part of this residence program. I hope to be part of more residence programs in the future. Mm -hmm.